Hello Indie Game Fans! When you've looked at as many games as I have, it can be difficult to actually find fresh new games, but I've managed to do just that with 10 more gorgeous pixel art titles that you should look forward to. Let's begin with Moon Samurai, a cyberpunk action platformer that does incorporate some beat-em-up elements. While we don't have that many details on the plot and story, the cyberpunk world created does look fantastic, with the closing seconds of this trailer teasing some fantasy elements with what looks to be a lightsaber katana as well, so I'm definitely keeping an eye on this. If you've been around indie games, I'm sure that you would have come across a game like Far Away Land's Rise of Yokai before, since, indeed, it is a side-scrolling strategy title that is very much like Kingdom, but this time having a feudal Japan setting and theme. The core idea is the same, build up your city and defences to fend off the endless onslaughts of yokai or demons, trying to survive for as long as you can. There is an interesting world expedition element where you travel the high seas, trade and fight monsters and pirates, but I do love the amount of detail in this game, from the units to buildings and backgrounds, all looking very good. We have seen a number of games using an intentionally limited colour palette, with the 2-bit Bloodless looking to be another excellent addition, being a stylish combat-focused action-adventure title where you play as a ronin, using her bare fists to disarm her opponents looking like another great action game. I did actually come across Castle of Alchemists during the Steam Nyx Festival in February, but didn't have the time to cover it, but I think now is as good a time as any for this action tower defense game. It is a medieval fantasy world but with somewhat modern technology, where a hero wields a gatling gun and has to stop waves of otherworldly enemies from destroying the castle. There are various traps and towers to be used, with great action and pixel art making this of interest. We have definitely seen our share of games like Blastronaut, since it is a mining title that has you exploring, gathering resources, fighting enemies and constructing and crafting to get better equipment, looking like sci-fi Terraria in some ways. However, what does stand out is the pixel art having a very clean, crisp look, where some of the destruction physics and animations are very impressive as well. Pixel art and farming or life sim titles do tend to go hand in hand, where a gorgeous title of interest is Fishing Paradiso, one that of course is more focused on fishing rather than farming, and has some of the most impressive water and skyline pixel art that I have ever seen. Interestingly, it is set in the afterlife with plenty of secrets to uncover as you explore this new world. I 
I think that fishing in these games are an equally pleasant alternative to farming, where I do want to see the variety of fish, both real and fantastical, in this game. One thing that I absolutely loved about Moira is that the developers wanted to pay tribute to the 8-bit handheld games and managed to nail that exact aesthetic since this game would not be out of place on a Nintendo handheld. It is a side-scrolling action platformer where you play as a magician's apprentice, searching for his missing master, learning and copying the abilities of enemies to be used against them. Eventually, you will be able to combine these abilities as well, where the pixel art, even in black and white, is excellent due to the level of detail. A great looking party based roguelite dungeon crawler is Escape the Mad Empire, featuring real time with pause combat but is a single player game. I love how tiny the characters and enemies are in proportion to the level, which can let you cram quite the number of sprites on screen, resulting in some beautiful pixel art to look at. It does remind me of Heroes of Hammerwatch, but appears to have more classic sea RPG elements, looking like a great upcoming entry. I believe C Blip is still relatively early on in development, so who knows whether it will get to release, but I have to say, the pixel art in this game is gorgeous, especially in how the clouds are drawn. This is essentially Pirate Terraria meets Stardew Valley, where you build a home base on a tiny island named C Blip, eventually building and upgrading a ship as you use it to venture out to adventure. There will be naval combat, as well as the expected farming sim elements like fishing, with some gorgeous constructions shown off in these screenshots, making this a title of interest. In a world where there are many roguelite deck builders, it is very refreshing that Cross Blitz is a straight up linear card based RPG with a fantastic look, which is why it got my attention. You're exploring Cross Dawn Owl, battling pirates and uncovering secrets as you play through the campaigns of 5 different characters. Combat does appear to be a twist on the Magic the Gathering formula, where you are summoning units to do battle, and with over 250 cards spread across 5 factions, leaves plenty of room to theorycraft the perfect deck. The pixel art portraits of the characters are some of the best that I have seen, with developer Taco Boy Studios being excellent as well, so this takes the number 1 spot. For more pixel art titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.